everyone, welcome to Dining with Diamonds. My name is M, and today we are back with another post review. Yay! Um, I'm so excited to uh, finally be finished with this canvas. This canvas was my entry for the event Butterflies with Diamonds, hosted by Bella Art Day Nicole over on Instagram and here on YouTube. She will be linked in the just uh, in the description as well. Um, this. This piece. This piece. I, I can't. We're going to talk about all the nitty gritty details and all the fun stuff. Um, but a few little things before we start today. If you are new here, if this is your first video and you like what you see by the end of this video, make sure to hit the like button because that's really cool. And if you really, really like the video and you want to stay and hang out a little bit, hit the little subscribe button too and the little notification bell as well because that would be really cool. I'd love to see you join our little family here. I'm not good at this. So, so if you want to stay, that means a lot to me. Um, post reviews. This is the third post review on this channel. We are reviewing the kit Valentine Masquerade by Strangeling and Diamond Art Club. Um, this is a 70 centimeter by 89 centimeter kit. It is a massive kit and is it is in square drills um, with three ABs. Now, some other stuff before I start talking about this kit as well. If you see some skips in the video, it's because I stumbled over my words and or paused for a significantly long period of time. Um, I'm sorry, it happens. My brain just totally farts out. It's because I have anxiety and it just seems to be getting worse. <laughs> so if you do notice that, that is why that is there. No other reason. I just want to put that out there. Okay. So, oh my goodness, where to start with this painting? This was a joy to work on. A joy. It was so easy. Um, I actually kit this up at the end of April, but I didn't start working on it until um, mid-May. And the reason for that is I just really wanted to have it kit up, but I was also working on Bumblebee and I really wanted to focus on Bumblebee. If you haven't seen my post review for Bumblebee, I will link that in the eye as well. There's also an unboxing. I might leave that in the eye as at some point in the video. I don't know. Um, yes, so I wanted to wait to work on her, but I just wanted to have her kit up because you have a lot of time with events. Um, and I knew this would be a relatively quick project because of all the color blocking. And yeah, I was right. It was very, very fast. I finished this in 12 non-consecutive days. And what I mean by non-consecutive is I did not work on this kit every day from the day that I kit it up to the day I finished it. Um, because life got in the way. I got sick from the side effects of the vaccine. I was working on another kit before I even really started working on this one. But um, after that was finished, uh, this got my undivided attention pretty much. But then I was gone for near, uh, for close to a week on vacation. So it got put aside again. So, <laughs> so let's get into my drills here. I actually had my drills in a... Um, smaller case than the one I'm about to show you, but I moved everything back to the Elizabeth Ward case system because I actually cut up another painting. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you have not seen that painting yet. Um, I will also link my Instagram down there. You can see my work in progresses and some other stuff down there. It's a little more personal over there. You get to know me a little better um, than here on the channel. But we have 28 colors in this kit, and we have a relatively good amount of drills left. Um, there's a decent amount of drills in all of these. I will say, though, I did run out of 413. Um, and at first, I was like, did I actually run out of it, or did I misplace it? Because it would not be the first time that I accidentally misplaced an extra bag of drills, because I did that with another Diamond Art Club canvas. But when I tell you I searched for a half an hour for this drill number, I, it was ridiculous. Luckily, I had extras from other kits, so it's fine. It worked out. I didn't have to contact them. I would have been very, very upset because I really want to kit up my next project. Um, if you don't know what my next project is going to be, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. 
Um, but as far as trash goes as well, hold on, I'm gonna grab my trash tray. There was a lot of trash in this kit. And that was kind of surprising to me. I've never had this much trash in a Diamond Art Club kit before. Focus! Um, this is a lot of trash. And I used my Bella Art Day Nicole, my smaller trays from her for the trash. But this is more trash than I normally have with any kit, really. I think this is the most trash I've ever had with a kit. Um, it was mostly the whites. Um, so there's some 310, and 310 the, is the DMC color for black. Um, there was also a lot of trash in the reds, but it's hard to tell. Um, yeah, a lot of trash in this kit. Don't really know why that was, but it wasn't a big deal. And ABs! The ABs in this kit are unbelievable. One for one. I'm going to grab it real quick. Ugh. AB one for one might be. Oh my God. Why? This is so annoying. My camera doesn't want to focus. 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 It's because I'm filming this at 830 at night. Anyway. It doesn't, my camera doesn't want to focus on it, but AB141 is probably my favorite AB ever <laughs> because it just made this kit look so gorgeous. So those ABs are all in her dress and there is a crap ton in her hair, like so much AB goodness going on in her hair. However, I will say there are three ABs in this kit, and the other two ABs are, like, non-existent. They are literally all centered, those two ABs, AB125, which is symbol one, and AB123. I'm sorry, 132. I'm, like, number dyslexic. Those two ABs in her eyes were not, like, again, non-existent. Um, and AB125 was actually so similar to the third, to AB141, I'm saying third because it's number three <laughs> on the ledger here. Um, but yeah, so I feel like it didn't really need those other two ABs. I don't really even know why they're there. They don't really add anything spectacular to the canvas, I feel like, but whatever, whatever. Um, that's fine, but AB141, all in her hair, in her dress, in the wings. It's just, it's so beautiful. We'll take a look at the sparkle too, so you guys can see. Um, I am also really impressed at how well I was able to keep the drills straight. That's more of a pat on my own back <laughs> with um, a canvas with this much color blocking. I feel like this is a very good canvas for more newer diamond painters who have never worked on a big canvas before. And I'm saying that because there's not a lot of confetti. There's, it's pretty much entirely color blocking. The most confetti is in her hairline and her face. That is where the most confetti is, mostly around her eyeballs um, and the, um, the mask that she's holding. That is where the most confetti is. Uh, as far as the rest of the kit goes, it is basically color blocking all the way through. If you, are intimidated by larger paintings but would like to try a larger painting and like this art style, I highly, highly recommend this painting as your first larger painting because it won't be daunting. It'll be really, really easy for you to get a hang of it. Now, I also want to talk about how to work on these larger kits and how to work on large areas of color blocking. Um, this might seem <laughs> like a really dumb, <laughs> dumb thing to like to suggest, but um, I literally work row by row and I multi-place. Um, I know some people don't like the multi-placers, but for large areas of color blocking like this canvas has, it really helps um, make it less Make it less stressful to get a section done. I know some people who don't like multi-placing do the color blocking. I'm sorry, do the um, checkerboarding on large areas of color blocking. I cannot do that. I I don't have the patience for it. I really don't. If I'm diamond painting, I want to be like constantly diamond painting. I don't know if that makes sense. 
But yes, I use a multi-placer. The most, the largest multi-placer I used on this kit was a seven placer, um, mostly because I don't own any multi-placers larger than that. Um, and I went row by row, um, horizontally. I vertically with square drills, I, I can't do. Um, but let me just say this as well. There is no wrong way to diamond paint. Whatever way works best for you will work best for you. This is what works best for me. And I also want to say we're like pretty deep in this video now, but I still want to put this out there. Um, everything I say in these post reviews or in my initial unboxings with my first impressions are my opinion. Um, you might not agree with that opinion. You might have a totally different opinion. You might have hated this painting uh, or don't like the company or whatever. Um, I just want to remind everyone that this is only my opinion. Um, I want to give the most information about a kit as possible so you can make up your mind whether or not in the future this would be something you would be interested in purchasing. Um, so yes, another thing that I want to talk about with this painting, this kit only has 28 colors. It has 28 colors and the amount of detail, I'm actually going to pull it up so you can see, the amount of detail and the amount of shading in this painting is un believable for kits that only has with this size that only has 28 colors her dress is so detailed let me move you like there is only four colors that make up that the red in that dress tops four colors and that detail is incredible this canvas is a perfect example of how less colors in a kit is sometimes more or how um, some kits that have less detail don't need as many colors as some paint uh, companies put in their paintings with less, um, with less detail. Some, co okay, <laughs> some companies put a lot of confetti in their kits on paintings that don't have that a need for it. Um, and Diamond Art Club is one of those companies that does not do that and the main reason that they don't do that is that all their diamond paintings are hand rendered as far as i know i don't know if dreamer designs hand renders their kits they might i'm not sure um so i cannot speak for i really can't say this with confidence but as far as i know allegedly uh, i'm presuming that diamond art club is the only diamond painting company out there right now that hand renders their charts for diamond paintings. That may be wrong. <laughs> that may not be the right assumption. Um, but because they hand render their paintings is why it looks the way it does, number one. And number two is they pick the colors and the amount of colors that work best for a painting. They knew that this painting would not need 40, 50 colors to look incredible. I'm telling you, and I have a feeling, if this was rendered by any other company, that background would be full of confetti. I don't know how it would happen, but it would happen. Um, but I just, I cannot, this kit is unbelievable. The sparkle on this kit is unreal. Uh, I, my Diamond Art Club Square Drills kits normally don't sparkle like super sparkly. <laughs> my square kits are usually not, my square kits are usually not like that. But this kit, let me see. Again, I'm filming this close to nine o'clock at night, so I don't know if you can really see the sparkle fully. Hello, socks. Um, yeah, so we've got some super sparkle in here. It was, it was so easy to work on. Uh, a, a row probably took me about five hours to get through um, a day. And I was working on it every day for a little bit at the end stretch there. I would sit down and start this kit at three and four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and I would and I would um, finish the row at around eight, eight thirty. What else to say about this kit? I love her face. The detailing, the shading is amazing. Diamond Art Club hits it out of the park every single time. 
like with every kit. Although I have to say, I've only ever not loved one diamond painting kit and that was Crazy Cat Lady. I'll put that up in the eye so you can see that post review. I did not, I was so excited about that kit too. Anyway, but I have to say, I've never had a terrible experience with Diamond Art Club. Their customer service is top notch. Their paintings are absolutely beautiful. Just some paintings aren't as fun to work on, but this one was so much fun. If you love this kind of artwork, if you love dark and, you know, fun and the big eyed uh, girl paintings and you like a lot of color blocking, you will love this painting. Um, it was a really, really quick project, but I also work on larger kits pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, I really think that's all I have to say about this kit. Next up, next up, I will be working on Spirit of Flight by Josephine Wall. I unboxed that on this channel. But that will be my next painting that I work on. Um, you can follow my progress on Instagram. That's at Donnie with Diamonds, which is the same as the YouTube handle. That will be linked in the description below so you can find me. I post all of my work in progresses over there. So I would highly appreciate you giving uh, me a follow over there. I would love to see you. Um, you can also contact me over there. I'm a lot easier to get in contact on Instagram than I am here or over email because I'm on Instagram most of the time. Um, but that will be my next project and I will be kidding it up immediately after I'm done editing and uploading this. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I kind of feel like this was all over the place today. I don't know, I'm having like a weird anxiety day today, so I apologize. Um, but if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video, uh, because that lets me know you, that you enjoyed this video. And, um, leave a comment telling me what you think about this painting. If this might be a painting you can see yourself getting in the future, I would love to know that. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, afternoon, at night, whenever it is in the day that you are watching this. And I hope you continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday lives. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!